drink your booze and like go home wasted. Greetings. And welcome once again to Creepy Ghoul Vision. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. Thank you for tuning in once again. And now for something completely different, something I haven't done in a very long time. I'm going to be reviewing some, I don't know, what do you want to say? Halloween horror, creepy, spooky drinks that I recently came across in my travels. I've got two wines and a rum. But first, if you're into horror, dark horror poetry, then you need to check out one of my best friends in the entire world, Alexis Child. There she is right there. You seriously need to check out her second collection of dark horror poetry in her new book called Singing the Bones. Available right now on Amazon. Here's the front and back cover. You need to check it out. Seriously. You like dark horror poetry. Singing the Bones is where it's at. Okay, so um, again, this is the third video I've shot today and I seem to be having problems in every one of my videos with my background music. Again, much like I did in my other two videos, I'm going to put this video on pause and try to rectify the problem. I think we got the uh, problem under control now. I hope. So, let's start off with Diabolica. Now, here it is right here. I had this many, many, many moons ago. I kind of sort of don't remember it. Obviously, uh, I was sold on the uh, packaging. Diabolica. Dev devilishly bold red wine VQA Ontario VQA 2018. Yeah, <clears throat> I do remember this being a VQA. Um, this is uh, a red wine from here in Ontario. Uh, our, we have some vast wine regions here, uh, particularly in the Niagara region as well. If you're ever in Toronto um, and surrounding areas, and you're into your wines, particularly your red wines like I am, then you need to check out uh, the Niagara region, man, I'm telling you. I've been there a few times already for their wine tours. It's awesome. Creepy ghoul on a wine tour? So, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to rediscover this again. That's 2018. Now, here it is right here. Made for Mischief. Our beguiling blend of Camborquian Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Dornfelder, Zwiglet, and Gamme Noir <laughs> rightly thumbs its nose at restraint. Set loose in the cellar of our wines, tasted as much of temptation, indulgence, and revelry as ripe berries or silky tannins. I can't say this shit with a straight face, man. Well blended daily in almost, in an almost ritual way until a surprising alchemy was unleashed. A wine that whispered in our ears in a darkly playful way. Revel in it deeply savior its secrets go on be a devil you can't make this shit up i'm telling you right now you just can't and i didn't funny enough 
This was in the clearance section of my local LCBO. I don't know, man. But anyhow, listen to this. Let's give it a shot. Let me rediscover Diabolica. So some of my favorite wine glasses right here. I can't remember what they're called. They have a specific name. I don't quite remember what they're called. But I do love them. I recently broke one. Um, got them at my local thrift store. They pop up every now and again. They're very old school European. Okay. Now I'm not going to be all pretentious and shit like that. I just poured it. I'm not the type of person that lets my wine breathe before I drink it. I open it, I pour it, I sometimes smell it, but I love to drink it. And I do drink wine just about, red wine, just about every night, every day, every night. Oh yeah, I remember this one now, or do I? Mm. Mm. Wow. I really like these grapes. These grapes, these grapes remind me of those little green, um, sour grapes. You just put them in your mouth, you bite down, they explode. They're really nice little, they look like little marbles. I really like them. They remind me of uh, Riolas. I love Riola red wine. Um, I can I can honestly recommend this one. I do like it. Um, the label, never mind the label. It's not a gimmick or anything like that. Um, this is a very tart wine, red wine, um, for all you vampires out there like myself. Check it out. Um, if you can get it, um, again, at my LCBO, when it's got the, uh, barcode scratched out, it's on clearance. I don't know where else you can get this. Um, some LCBOs may carry it as it sells in that district or region. Um, in deepest, darkest Scarborough here, my hometown, apparently it doesn't do as well. But I can recommend it. Uh, it's very, it's tangy, it's tart. Uh, it's very extremely easy going. It goes down really, really smooth. Can recommend. Diabolica, because Creepy Ghoul said so. Okay, so, moving right along. Um, I remember this was like several months ago. I went to my local LCBO, grabbed a bunch of stuff. As, 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 I, as I was in the lineup, I, I looked over and I saw this. I'm like, oh, damn. And I was next. I, I'm like, uh, uh, I just want to check out and just go. Um, I missed out on it. So I said, if I ever see it again, I'll grab it. Check this out. Now, I love spice rum. I found this. Uh, Dead Man's Fingers. Spiced rum. And uh, it comes with a little bonus here, actually. Dead Man's Fingers Coffee Rum. That's quite interesting. This is a nice little piece for my uh, green bar cabinet over there. Um, so here it is right here. Here's the hype tag. Hype tag right here. So I'm gonna take it off. Uh, join the spice rum revolution. Great with cola. I love a good rum and coke. Who doesn't? Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take off this little bonus freebie here. And you know what? I'm probably not even going to open this, at least not for a while. I'd like to put this in my uh, my bar cabinet there. It's a nice little look at that, eh? That's sick. Love it. Love it. Okay, so this one here. Imported spiced rum. Uh, it's 43 proof. Love it. Here it is. So... There's the back of it right there. So, uh, we do things differently here. Dead Man's Fingers is a blend of rum and spices created at the Rum and Crab Shack in St. Ives, Cornwall, England. 
Wow, it's an English rum. Oh, this has got to be good. Inspired by local flavors such as saffron cake and spiced fruit and the shack's own Pedro Eximes ice cream. Enjoy it mixed or neat. I I like my spiced rum neat. I like I like the all the hard shit neat. The very odd time I'll drop in a few ice cubes, but I do like my drinks neat. Um uh enjoy it mixed or neat. Either way, this is not your usual. This is Cornish soul. Again, Again, you can't make this shit up, and I'm not making it up, okay? <laughs> there you go. There we go. Not all the LCBOs carry this. I haven't seen this at a lot of LC. I haven't seen this at any LCBOs, actually, except for the one. But anyhow, I haven't even opened this yet. I'm going to open this, and we're going to sample it right here. So let me see how. There is the tab right there. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that, eh? DMF, Dead Man's Fingers. There it is right there. Beware. Okay, so I want to carefully open this because I may want to keep this bottle. I've got a nice collection of um, beer and liquor bottles um, that I've collected over the years and have still been collecting. Oh, yeah. Uh, for my man cave, bat cave, and my garage when I decide to get my shit together. There's an old Jack Daniels whiskey glass that I kept. I really like it. They took great pride and pleasure in these glasses right here. It's embossed and whatnot. Really nice glass right there. Love a good whiskey glass. So let's try this. Mmm. Okay. Now, I like my drinks in a very dirty glass. This right here is a very dirty glass. Wow. I can't see. Holy crap. Oh, wow. That is some strong shit. Mm. Man, that tastes good, though. Wow. I just felt like I got punched in the throat in a very good way. The flavor, man, I, what do I taste? I taste vanilla. I, this is, I, I, wow. That's a nice spiced rum, man. In a really cool bottle. Again, no gimmick. There is no gimmick here. This is a really amazing spiced rum. Man, you can feel it right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm going to pour me another. Jeez. In small batches. I can only drink this shit in small batches, man. This stuff packs a real punch. Oh, wow. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will, I, will, I will enjoy this very sparingly. Oh, easy. I would definitely e easily get another bottle of this. Wow. That's some nice vanilla notes. Very sweet. Very vanilla. And it just, it, it's got such a nice bite. I love a whiskey or a rum with a nice bite. I love the bite. I love biting. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Really good stuff, man. 
Wow. I am impressed. Next up. We have the evil eye. I've had this. <coughs> well, I'm still trying to recover from the dead man's fingers rum. I had this years ago. Evil Eye. Castello di Monserrin. I'm not trying to like pronounce it properly or anything like that. This is a dark red blend wine. I love my red wine. Um, yeah, it's 2018. Okay, interesting. Um, I found this many years ago. And I tried it, and I, I'll be honest, I don't remember it. I came across it again. This was in the clearance aisle, uh, clearance shelf of one of my local LCBOs once again. Um, so I said, you know what, it was decently priced for old time's sake. Let me pick it up, because I had these other two here, and I figured let me just do like a, uh, a horror wine tasting review type of thing. They say things come in threes, and that they did. So check this out. Um, Mal de Ojo, Evil Eye, is renowned is a renowned myth where certain fixed looks can cast a curse to protect oneself from the mal de ojo. Talismans displaying an eye are used such as our symbol and perhaps our wine. Made as a real blend from Garnacha Tempernillo and Canea. This deep colored wine displays intense dark red fruit aromas with a touch of vanilla mm. and will accompany all meat dishes and can even be drunk by itself. This is from Spain. I love Spanish wine. My favorite red wine is Chilean, but I do love uh, Spanish wine. Spanish water, as I call it. Uh, it's a 14.5 proof. There you go right there, the evil eye. Let's give it a shot, man. Let's give it a shot. Now, a lot of people are very judgmental with, um, is it a cork or do you need like an opener type of thing? Uh, a lot of people say, oh, if you need an opener, that must be good. Uh, not, that's not necessarily true. Not that I'm a red wine connoisseur, but then again, I am on a very extremely amateur level. Day of the dead. Get on your knees and pray. This was a present from one of my bosses, who I still keep in touch with to this day. Never burn bridges, people. He knows how much I love my red wine, and uh, this was a Christmas present one year. Got me this uh, Day of the Dead opener. There you go, right there. Gotta love that. Let's let's pop it open. Check this out. There's the evil eye right there. Don't know how well you're gonna see that. There you go. Let's pop this sucker open and give it a swig. Put that right in the middle of the eye. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, watch this. Watch, watch. Look at the arms. Look at the arms. The arms are rising. Okay. Right there. Take a picture quick. Kidding. Like I have Instagram. Like I have Facebook. Like I have Twitter.
Yeah. Let me be all pretentious and shit. I don't think so. Okay, so let's remove some of this stuff right here. There we go. All right. Mm, smells very, very peppery. Very peppery. Yes, I know I should be using a clean, a fresh glass. I don't care. Oh, I love the color of that. That's a nice color. Looks like blood. Die, 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 my darling. Very weak. I prefer my red wines um, with a little bit more bite. Um, this is a very easy going red. Um, almost like flavored water from what I remembered. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, hype, gimmick, evil eye, cool bottle. Can't say I would recommend. If you're a, a beginner, uh, a red wine beginner drinker of red wines, then maybe uh, you can try this if you're into, you know, horror or mysticism or darkness and you just want to try something like this. But you have to be a, a, a red wine beginner drinker. Very easy going. To me, it's flavored water. I'm not impressed with your performance in this company. I'm back. Okay, so... Anyways, um, that concludes my, uh, my, my uh, horror, creepy, spooky um, drinks review video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a couple thumbs up, will you? Like, share, and subscribe to the video, and we'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay weird. Like, drink your booze and, like, go home wasted. Like, drink your booze and, like, go home wasted. Like, drink your booze and, like, go home wasted.